Hello, welcome to The Wedding Show. I am Shelly with Shelly Armstrong Events. Uh, I'd like to introduce my first guest today, April Newton with Scribbles. April, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, of course, anytime. I'm excited to share with our guests um, and our viewers um, about Scribbles. Uh, invitations are such an important part of, of planning the wedding and um, it's the really the first thing that people see that say, this is my wedding, and so I feel that um, a lot of people kind of discredit it and don't give it enough credit. Right. Um, it really is so huge because, yeah, again, right. it says, hello, this is my wedding. So yeah. I feel that uh, quality paper and, and print and graphics and all of that is very, yeah, very important. Absolutely. Um, it kind of explains a little bit of what's happening and a little bit about who you are. So, yeah. um, April, tell me a little bit about Scribbles and how long Scribbles has been in the business. Well, Scribbles is a locally owned business that's been a part of Fresno for a couple of decades now. Um, my mom and I are the current owners, and we've had it since 2008. And uh, so we specialize in custom invitations for all occasions, Wonderful. not just weddings, but obviously weddings is a huge event that needs a lot of attention and, yes. and detail to stationery. Yes. Well, you can do the bridal showers and building up to it. Exactly. Wonderful. Engagement parties. Yes, all of those Rehearsal parties. Rehearsal dinners. Yeah. Shall we go on? A lot of parties that come along with getting yeah. married. Yeah. And then the baby showers, which is my favorite, yes. which is afterwards. So. Yeah. Well, good. So tell me a little bit about how brides get started, because I know brides can look online and see tons of, of beautiful invitations, right. but it's a little overwhelming for them. So yeah. what is the best way, and how do you recommend that they get started? Uh, well, the best way to get started is to give us a call and make an appointment okay. and come in with all of your ideas. Brides come in with all different types of, of things that they've seen. Sometimes it's um, you know invitations that they found online. Sometimes it's a picture of their centerpiece, their bridesmaids, fabric swatches, all right, of those right. things. Um, it's really fun to pull all of those different aspects from different details and, right. and make it all on one thing. Um, and then, you know, what we do is we just kind of talk about the event. Like you said, it's the first impression of what your wedding is going to look like. So for some people, that's very formal. And for some people, that's really casual. Um, but we kind of just get an idea of what they want their event to look like. And then we put it on paper. And so start building up from there. Start building from there. Now, I know that there are so many different types of invitations. And um, April, thank you for bringing some samples for yeah. us to show our viewers today, some gorgeous pieces. And so hopefully you can see those. And um, all right, a lot of people, when even when I'm talking with brides about their invitations, when I say a mounted piece, they don't know what that means, or right. embellishments, yeah. um, or pocket folds, or laser cuts. Yeah. So why don't you tell us and maybe even uh, pick pick a few to show, yeah. so you can kind of yeah. go into detail to give our brides a little bit of a right. heads up on what yeah. those Well, are. the art of stationery, I think, has evolved over the last 10 to 15 <laughs> years, especially when it comes to weddings. Yes. You know, gone are the days where you're looking at a catalog and you're just putting your name and date and something. Right. Um, and that's what's fun for us. So there are so many different options. You have, you know, invitations that are just a flat single card. Um, it can be very simple and elegant. And then you have, you know, brides that want rhinestones and, and lace and ribbons and burlap and twine and you know you name it all the different pieces. all of those all different, different pieces kind of yeah so what's unique actually. about scribbles is that we can kind of take all of those ideas put it into the invitation um, you know we're building from the ground up so you're picking the colors and mm -hmm. and the sizing and the fonts um, and although that can be an overwhelming process yes. usually within the first 10 to 15 minutes of an appointment a bride can narrow down you know maybe not exactly what the invitation is going to look like, but what it's not going to look like, right. and sometimes that's half the battle. Absolutely, is 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 figuring out what you don't want. Right, is huge, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so where do you see some of the the trends going with invitations? What's you the know, most popular in your opinion right now? The most popular, I, I can't tell you how many brides come in and say, I'm doing vintage, which means different things to different people. Um, but for us, um, you know, sometimes that's a font that you use that really looks, you know, different. Um, sometimes it's a graphic that looks almost like it's hand drawn. Um, so those are definitely quite popular. And then we just started doing the laser cut invitations, and those are gorgeous. It kind of has that lacy feel without having to buy expensive lace. So, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I know that I, I love them. I think yeah. they're gorgeous. Yeah. And it's so much fun to get them, and they're delicate and, right. and classy. And, right. And when and something beautiful. like that comes in the mail, it really sets your event apart. Looks Absolutely. like you're getting your own little present right. when you're opening well, it. And we all love presents in the mail, yeah. right? Right. All right, so let's talk about timing. Um, when should a bride come see you? 
Well, your wedding invitation should be in the mail six to eight weeks before your actual wedding, and that sneaks up on a lot of brides. Um, in a perfect world, we'd love to see our brides come in, you know, three months before the event. It does not take us that long to put them together. Usually after we meet and we get the wording all ironed out, a bride will have a proof in her hands two days after she's met with us. Um, but sometimes it just takes a while to kind of pick out, you know, what colors and right. exactly what it's going to look like. Um, so nobody likes to be rushed. We don't want to be rushed designing it for you. Right. You don't want to be rushed putting it together. Um, gives you time to get your addresses, you know, all squared away. Um, I so think yeah. the addresses you just hit on a, a big part. That's one of the worst parts. I, I know that when we're dealing yeah. with it is when they come in and we have six pieces of paper and they've ten written. Right. And none of them are in alphabetical order. Yeah, and that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. So it, it creates it creates a little issue with timing sometimes. Yeah. Save so. the dates are a good way to kind of get yourself organized. If you've thought about that, those should right. be sent out six months in advance. But it really does force a bride to get her mailing list put together because she's sending out those extra Absolutely. that extra piece before the wedding invitation. Absolutely. So what kind of colors do you have to offer the bride with paper choices? There are so many different types of colors. You know, there's five shades of white and ten shades of black and then all of the things in between that. Um, and then obviously if we can't find what you want on paper, being able to print that color is a way to get around that. So, you know, I have brides that will fall in love with a pattern paper, but it's not exactly in the color that they want, so we print it. So you can print it. Exactly. Okay. Now, do you do, you do your printing in-house or do you send out? Yeah, so Scribbles does all of the design, printing, and assembly right in our studio. Um, so we have control over the product from the moment you walk in to the moment you walk out. Wonderful. So and also yes. offer addressing services. Okay, My business good. partner does the hand addressing, so you can see all of that. Lovely. In the I studio. am a big fan of the handwritten. I think that any, and this goes yeah. way back and um, back to the beginning of etiquette, I think, just because I think that anytime you're inviting someone to a formal event, um, even if it's a little less formal, more casual, it's still a formal invitation. Right. And I believe it should be handwritten. And it I think a, a lot of people have, um, uh, they tend to like, you know, when you can print in the big script fonts and they think it's very pretty. Right. But I still fall back to old school etiquette. Yes. And I do like the handwritten invitation. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you don't have it done in calligraphy, I still think it's very important that Right. That it's handwritten. And that's another design choice. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, putting a graphic on the envelope or having a fun um, inviting line, please deliver to, right. and then having the handwritten, you know, kind of gives somebody an idea of what's to come when they open it up. So Absolutely. that's another place to, to personalize your, your invitation. Absolutely. And again, it's fun getting fun things in the mail. Yeah. So even when you're at your envelope, has something fun on right. it, a fun little graphic right. on it, they're excited about exactly. it. Exactly. And you want people to be excited about your wedding. And again, that is the, your invitation is the first thing that people are yeah. going to see. So it's important that they look good. Why don't you let everyone know how to um, give you a call and set up an appointment sure. so they can yeah. go into your studio and see you, what you've got. Yeah, you can reach Scribbles at 559-434-1299. We are on Perrin in between Somerville and Willow in Northeast Fresno. And you don't need a lot of notice to have an appointment. Just give us a call. Make sure we're in the studio, and we'll be happy to help you. Fantastic. Fantastic. April, thank you so much for joining thank us today. Thank you for having me. And um, brides, go uh, get started on your, first of all, your guest list. Get those <laughs> addresses in. Do not save it until the last minute. Right. And get them in alphabetical order, too. Hint, hint. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then go see April at Scribbles. And um, you're sure to have some lovely invitations. All right. Thanks so much. We'll be right back.